Okay, I've just uh, received the invitation to the Windocs test drive. It looks like it requires SSH support. I'm running Windows 8, so I don't have that on my machine at the moment. So let's take a look at how easy it is to download. You can see that the Putty EXE is right there on the page. It opens up this easily, and I can type in that uh, website address. And this opens up a uh, session on a Linux host for the test drive. I can enter the... And now we're on the test drive ready to run our uh, Docker commands. So I'm going to go ahead and start typing the, the long string. This is da uh, standard Docker syntax. Once I have the string in, the subsequent commands will be fairly simple to run. 2375 is the standard port for Docker. And we're going to run a, a .NET container. And so what's happening in the background, we have a Windows Server 2012. It's already spun up the uh, .NET container, and now it is starting that container. You can see that we uh, are, this container is running at port 10,014. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up the session at this location. And here's our uh, .NET um, session point out a couple of things about this. This is a, obviously a application that's geared for the test drive. It includes a port and a password for a SQL Server container. So now let's start that SQL Server container up. Instead of retyping the full string, I use the up arrow on the keyboard. And now we can just edit the uh, final part of the string. So in this case, we're going to start up a SQL Server 2012 container. And this container includes a database that we will integrate with the uh, .NET app. And these containers are being used by people to provision complex applications in isolated containerized instances that are being hosted on a shared VM for an entire team. We've been doing some work with a NetApp to provision uh, up to a terabyte or even two terabyte mounted databases to this environment. So I'm going to highlight, whoops, I'm going to highlight the uh, SA password. Using PuTTY, you simply want to highlight it with your left hand button on the mouse. So I've got that copied to the clipboard, just highlighting with the left click of the mouse. And we can see we're at port 10,015. So I'm going to update the port and the password. And now we can, yeah, and we've got a fully integrated .NET with SQL Server environment here in a matter of seconds. And this is really the beauty of containers. These are isolated. We can have a full team provisioning these on a shared VM very economically. So this can really pick up the uh, agility of people who want to use SQL Server with uh, any form of application. We're very excited about this and encourage you to Check it out on the test drive on your own. And you can see that uh, using SSH on Windows is pretty straightforward. Just don't uh, control C. Use the left hand click to uh, highlight the content. Thanks a lot today.